Hi everyone. As requested by my subscribers, I'm going to do a tour of our lake lot and Aquadeo and Jackfish Lake in general. So first I'll show you around our lot here and then we'll get to some of the other stuff. So this is our lot from the front. We have a fairly big chunk of land out front. Lots of room for parking. And we just have a little storage shed here that we just keep bikes and water toys and stuff in. And this is our little screen tent that if it's raining or whatever, we'll have a fire, just a propane fire in here. And we've got a TV in there. It's a nice little space. And then that's a wishing well that I got for free probably 10 years ago or more. And this is our golf cart. Around here, um, they just let you drive golf carts around as transportation. There's one going by right there. Um, so everyone here pretty much has a golf cart. And it's just a lot better than having vehicles driving around. A lot safer. And this is the trailer. Um, sometimes we'll pull this out and do trips down into Montana and Wyoming, North Dakota, South Dakota. We haven't pulled it out for a while though. And this is my little pot belly stove. This is a homemade one. Um, I'll fire it up and cook crab or really anything on there. And yeah, this is the fire pit. Have a nice fire. There's my bunkhouse. Um, if you haven't watched my tour on that, go watch that. And yeah, that's a hammock frame. And this is our hot tub over here. It's kind of nice after a cold swim or whatever to come and sit in the hot tub. And then these here, they were built as ice fishing shacks but they just kind of got turned into storage sheds. This is kind of the bar, I guess. Fridge and ice maker and everything. And that back folds up there and we got a TV back there so you can sit on the swing and watch TV. And then that's the wood pile. It's kind of getting a little low. We'll have to get some more. And then this other ice fishing shack Again, just storage for various things. Close that up. But yeah, that's pretty much the tour of our lot. Um, I'll take you around to some of the other places in Aquadeo here. So this here is kind of the secondary main road, I guess you could call it. And over there is the golf course. They have a pretty nice golf course here. And this is the clubhouse. So this is kind of the center of the village. Um, they have a restaurant in there and a little, little bit of a selection of a convenience store items and stuff like that. And then the beach and marina are just down here. So they've got a playground down here. And this is just kind of a swimming hole area. Um, this whole little peninsula thing that I'm driving on is all man-made. The natural shoreline is back there and they just brought in dirt and built this whole thing out. It's pretty warm today. There's lots of people out there swimming. And this is where everyone parks their boats. That's our boat right there, that black rinker. And they just put in these docks. These are fairly new. So I guess we'll go out on the boat and take a tour of the lake. So this is our boat. Uh, we'll go out and take you for a tour of Jackfish Lake.
So our first stop along the tour is Koshin. It's another resort village on Jackfish Lake. And it has a little creek connecting the lakes of Jackfish Lake and Murray Lake. So I guess that would technically make these lakes exoreic lakes because they drain into each other. I guess there's also another river that drains Jackfish Lake into the North Saskatchewan, I think. This is kind of a popular attraction around here. Um, I guess it was only built in 1989, just kind of as a neat little thing for a small lake like this to have a lighthouse, but um, it's a fun climb. So let's see if we can climb it and I'll show you up at the top. So these stairs can be pretty arduous to walk up since they're not all equidistantly spaced steps can be kind of confusing. So this is the lighthouse here. Um, I believe it's the only lighthouse in Saskatchewan. And you get a nice view of the lake from up here. It's a nice day today. Lots of boats out on the water. And it overlooks the village of Koshin down here, and that is Murray Lake. Now you have to pay a little more attention on the descent, or else you'll trip up because the steps are all different. So now we're at one of my favorite stops on Jackfish Lake. This is the village of Miota. And it's just a really quaint little place. Um, I've always liked it here. They have a nice little ice cream shop and a store and it's just a nice place. I'll show you around. So this is the beach where you come in. They got a playground and they used to have a great big slide right here but they took that out probably about 10 years ago or so we used to have a lot of fun on that so this is the little concession stand they have here we're just going to grab some ice cream and a bite to eat and go check out the rest of the town so we're just kind of walking down <laughs> in the main miota area here and there's a bunch of cool houses down this street so Main Street's just down at the end of this street, so maybe show you some cool houses along the way. So here's a cool little house here. Looks like it's all actual stone. And then there's another brick house over here with a really nice veranda that goes all the way around. I think that might be a restaurant or something that they turned that into, I'm not sure. And then there's another old church by the looks of it that they turned into a cabin that's kind of cool it's got the castellations up on top a lot of older properties in Miota. now speaking of older properties when do you think the last time anyone filled up here was 25.9 cents a liter for gas what are we at now like a buck 20 a liter or something depending on where you go but yeah this is the store 
I haven't been here in a little while. Now this is a neat little store, kind of stuck in the 70s here. All the old Coke and Pepsi advertisements. So pick this up at the store. Anybody who's not from Canada, um, Tim Hortons ice caps are the best and they make them in drinks that you can buy in stores now. So that's pretty cool. Cool house that is here. Another brick house. Looks like it has a cellar down there. A lot of neat properties down along here. There was another one that I saw. I'll see if I can find it. Might be up. Oh yeah, I think it's up by that airstream there. There's another nice one there. Really nice yard. Airstream motorhome. And another neat cabin here. I love the abundance of rakehead windows that's going on. So the next stop on the lake is a little place called Robinson's Beach and there's a few hiking trails and hills up in here so we'll go do a couple of those and see the lake from a higher vantage point. So the cool thing about the start of these walking trails is that there's a culvert that goes underneath the road into the provincial park. I think it's a six foot diameter culvert, maybe a seven because of the gravel in the bottom. And then this is the beginning of the walking trails. So this is basically where the trails take you. Um, I think we might do this one here. I remember that one kind of being a nice one. And then that's the entrance to the park, and it actually takes you quite a ways around. So we'll climb up to the top of the hill, which is right about there, and take a look at the lake. Now the flora along these trails is actually quite interesting. Um, got a lot of wild roses and other types of things. A lot of Saskatoon berry bushes. It's quite a hike to the top. So here's the view at the top of the hill. Um, our boat is somewhere down there. But you get a pretty nice view of the lake. Lots of boats out on the water today. And I don't even think this is the highest point. There's a point over there 
that looks high around back there, but I think this is like the best, most uninterrupted view. But we'll keep going and see where else this takes us. So I believe we're at the highest point of the designated walking trail. That hill is probably 20 feet or so higher than we are right now, but we can't really get over there. But it's a pretty nice view from here. Okay, so coming to the bottom of the trails here, it looks like we have a natural spring here. Um, looks like the water just kind of seeps out of the hills. And I'm guessing this, ow, that's a, yeah, thistle is gonna be very cold. Yep, yeah, that's ice cold. So yeah, I bet that is some sort of a, or, oh, got the sign right there telling me what it is. Okay, well, we'll continue so, coming back on the trail. There's these Saskatoon bushes here that I like to come to and pick some fresh Saskatoons. Might be a little bit early in the season, but there are some here. Should bring a cup down here and grab some. And one last stop on the tour of the lake is the Provincial Park. They have a beach here and a store. There's a mini golf, all sorts of stuff here. We'll go check out the store. So they've got a nice big public lawn space here. And that's the store there. It's a pretty cool store. They sell ice cream and all sorts of things you'd expect at a store. So this is the store. Um, another place that's kind of stuck in the 80s. A lot of vintage stuff in here. The old Coke advertisements and they sell quite a few cool things. Now, one last thing I wanted to do before I end this video. Um, I'm at the town, of, or the village, I guess, hamlet of Jackfish. Um, I've never actually been here before, so this is as much of an adventure for me as it is for you. Doesn't look like there's much here though, but I take it either the lake or the town were named after each other, obviously. But yeah, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot here, just a church and a cemetery and a few outbuildings. So I guess some remnants of streets or whatever, kind of a ghost town, I guess. But anyways, uh, thank you for watching the tour of the lake and I'll see you in the next video.